Hey everyone, this is Destiny and welcome back for another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to move loads in this industry. Okay, where's the freight hiding at Destiny? Is it really hiding? Um, is it trying to play peekaboo with me? Like, where is it at? I need the money. I need the freight. I mean, I have talked to over maybe like 200 carriers in the last three weeks. And I'm telling you, people need work. People need dispatchers. So if you want to be a dispatcher, right? If you say, Destiny, listen, I want to be a dispatcher. I just don't want to just book loads, but I want to take my carry your trucking company to the next level i want you to click the link below in it and get into my dispatch mentorship where i'm going to show you how to start and maintain a dispatch business no i'm not trying to sell you on my course i'm trying to sell you on a better future okay so okay number one the lows are not on the low board right the loads are not i think people have gotten used to using the low board so much that they pay debt all of their money and they're so used to the low board having lows well let me tell you something the low board is not used for everyday use the low board is not used for everyday use you have to build relationships i've been saying this three years ago you need to start building relationships now it's time to start building relationships please stop depending on the low boy and you're the one that's saying oh it's no lows but have you developed relationships this broker that you just moved that freight for did you ask them if it's paying decent or good did you ask them how many times a week that you know he has that low a lot of the times what stop us from going to the next level is because we do not communicate i have worked with carriers that I can just tell why they don't have a dedicated lane. They hardly answer the phone for me. I don't know if they picked up. I don't know if they dropped off. They don't communicate. So I know you're not communicating with that broker. The number one thing that can get you to the next level is communication. Communication. I have been offered so much freight just because of the way I communicate. Believe it or not. The number two thing you can do is you can reach out to different brokerages to see what dedicated lanes that they have in your area. Did you know you can call a broker up, you can ask them, do you have freight in this lane, this, that lane? They will transfer you to the broker that has that freight and you can get some dedicated lanes. I'm all for working with brokers that have dedicated lanes. I'm not sitting here. When you build relationships, you will know if somebody's trying to get over on you, you will know. But you have to do your market research before calling a broker. You need to make sure you do your market research. How much was this lane paying two years ago? What are some changes on this lane? Can I get more money because I have to go through tolls? Or is a lot of hills? Is bad weather? What is going on in this area? Because when you come to a broker like that and you have your facts, they're more prone to paying you more. So you could call different brokers up and say, hey, I see that you um, you have this lane or the, the person transferred me to you because they said that you have lanes in Illinois is going to Maryland. And I wanted to know more information on it and how I could be dedicated to you. Maybe you have one truck, maybe you have two trucks. They don't really care. What they care about is that they can move their freight from point A to point B. That's just the bottom line. So make sure that you start calling brokerages up and finding your dedicated lanes. Number three, the most hardest thing that people do not like to do is call shippers. You could call shippers to see if they have um, available freight in your area. You should know that, but you can call them and just see if it's available. See if it's available so that you can move that freight for them. Those are the number three things that I want you to, to do. Stop using a low board for every day. Like, no. You need to start building up some lanes. You need to start pin piecing some things together. If you are a dispatcher and you're depending on a low board every day, I want you to stop. I want you to stop. I want you to stop thinking that you can depend on a low board every day because guess what? When DAT goes down, what are you going to do? Because you never build up any relationships and that truck driver is dependent on you and 
that business can fail because of you. So I hope that you're not so concerned about making some money that that's all your focus is. Make sure that you are in it to build that company up like you said you would. That you would make the money. But in order to make the money, you got to pin pieces, some things together. You have to start connecting some things together. Okay? And if you don't, if that goes down, you're going to be in trouble. Okay? So stay tuned to my next video. And if you're interested in my dispatch mentorship, the link will be below. And go get your dedicated links. Okay? Go get your dedicated links.